In this video, I want to talk about one of the most widely debated and contested aspects of trading, and that is which time frame you should trade. Before I continue, I'd just like to say there is going to be a lot more training videos, so if you do like this, please subscribe to Decisive Trading and also like this video. Now, there's been such a varying degree of opinion on which time frame you should trade. Through the years, I've heard pretty much everything, to be honest. I've heard people say that professionals only trade the daily time frame and the four hour time frame. I've been told that anything underneath the one hour time frame is simply noise and cannot be traded. I've been told that the one minute time frame used to be good for scalping, but it can't be done anymore because of these computer algorithms that, that they use to trade um, short time frames now. In all honesty, the truth is you can trade any time frame that you like. The most important thing is you need to find a time frame which suits your lifestyle and also your personality. For me personally, I trade the FTSE 100 on the five minute time frame. I trade that pretty much every day. And I also look at Forex on the one hour time frame. Just before we continue, I just wanted to show you a couple of things with regards to people who say that you can't trade different time frames, especially the lower time frames. So let me just get rid of all this stuff off of this chart. I'll get rid of these moving averages. <clears throat> okay, so. This is the FTSE 100, as I said, it's the five minute time frame. Um, I can really just grab a line and I can show you that there's support and resistance working on this chart anywhere you look. I can go here. And as you can see, it's touched here. Here and here. This is support and resistance in action. Uh, the way I trade is to form a top-down view of the market. So I'd build my support and resistance zones in the morning. I'd look at the higher time frames, and then I'd trade this on the five-minute time frame. You can see, um, so here this line's being respected back here. And you can just, uh, over here, it's touching it. And support and resistance works on every time frame, and it can be used to trade every time frame. As you can see here, we've got more. A touch here. You've also got the market stalling here before it breaks through. It comes back and retests this area after it breaks back through. It uses it as resistance. So this is support. Support then becomes resistance in the future. And this is the, the UK FTSE 100, as I said. Now, how do you decide which time frame is best for you? Well, if you work full time, it's pretty easy, to be honest, because you can't watch the charts all day. You can't be around the charts and come to the computer when your alarm goes off or when your alert goes off. So you really need to look at swing trading. You really need to look at the daily time frame, uh, the four hour time frame. This means you, you only have to check the charts once a day or once every four hours. When the market reaches your support and resistance, a lot of brokers you can set to send you an email or to send you a text message to alert you to this. And then that night when the, when the market closes, you, you just have a look, you see if your setup's there and you trade it. If you want to trade, I say full time, but if you want to be more involved um, intraday trading, really the option is completely yours. I sometimes trade the 15 minute, I sometimes trade the one minute, I sometimes trade the four hour, and I sometimes trade the daily. But my main time frame is the five minute and the one hour on the Forex. The only thing I would say is that most new traders, <clears throat> they do gravitate towards the one minute time frame. 
Now just, let me just bring up a one minute time frame. I'll just do the Australian dollar, US dollar. This is a pair that I use quite a lot. I, I trade it on the um, one hour time frame. Oh, sorry, it's five minutes. So if I go down to the one minute time frame, get rid of all this stuff again. Sorry about this. This is all set up for me to trade. Okay. So we're on the one minute time frame now. It, uh, as you're going to see, it works exactly the same on every time frame. There we go. It's just a complete random choice of position on this chart. This is from the June the 18th. Well, this is uh, three in the morning. So let's go to the, the days open. So the UK day open is between seven and eight. Okay, you can see at the start here, we've started trending. The market's trending. So will we have a trend line to support this? Okay, so it's not touching there. There. Okay, so you've touched here. You've touched here. You've touched here. If I continue this line on, you would have touched here. This is a, a trend line in action. Um, let's see if we can find some support and resistance. It's not very difficult. Here, you've got resistance, breaks through, uses it as support. You can trade any time frame, guys. That's basically what I'm saying to you. If, if I jump on the one hour time frame, I don't even need to zoom in here. I can just show you on this basically. So if I just put a line here, you can see that the market has used this line as support, support, support. It stalls here, it breaks through. It comes back up, support becomes resistance. So anybody who tells you that certain time frames can't be traded, that they're just noise, they they don't know what they're talking about, basically. But what I would say is for the one minute time frame, because it is where a lot of people gravitate towards when they first start trading, people gravitate towards the one minute time frame because it's faster. Trading is if you're doing trading properly, it's boring. I know that sounds difficult to believe, but if you're following a plan exactly, you're looking for the same things day in and day out, it's pretty boring. And that's how trading should be. It should just be a f your plan, putting your plan into action and watching watching the results, watching the money roll in. The one minute time frame is a lot faster. It can mean faster profits, but that can also mean faster losses. So you need to be very careful. What I would say is, on the one minute time frame, I'd always risk very, very low stakes. When you're starting, I'd risk as low as you possibly can. On IG index, which I use, that's one pound a point on a lot of markets, which is, is fine for learning. I, I definitely wouldn't go in with 1% of your account, which is recommended um, a recommended portion size per trade. Not on the one minute time frame. Not until you're consistently profitable. But if the, if the one minute time frame is what you enjoy, a lot of people do enjoy watching the charts, a lot of people do enjoy quicker moves, only jumping in the market for a couple of pips at a time, you can trade that, you can learn that. It's, it's completely up to you. So I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions, you can comment on this video. And also, I've started a Facebook page for Decisive Trading. Um, I've only just started it, but hopefully I can get some people on there and it can be a place where beginners can put their trade ideas, can talk to each other, and it can also be a place where if you have questions or suggestions of something you'd like to learn in a video, you can post them there and I can get back to you because it's a lot easier than YouTube. Okay guys, I'm James Orr and thanks for watching.